Law of the Bedroom, number 143, and part four of four. Remember the best times to make love. Here's an interesting one. Yeah, guys, are you a sweat monster? Yeah. Let's say you just finished a wild section of great lovemaking to your gal. And before you lay down next to her for a little comfort and loving, you notice you need to quickly towel off. Do it, yes. Just say, sweetie, I'll be right back. Give her a kiss, run to the hall closet, or go to the bathroom and reach for that towel, and then dry off. Your gal wants to cuddle with her man, not a wet man. What's more, keep a fan in the room. If you don't have AC, which in some houses, there's no air conditioning. (laughs) You know, it's like the window. (laughs) But, you know, while just having sex, it's good to have a fan in the room. Keep the room cool, just a little bit below regular room temperature. This should help keep your body temperature regulated. You know, around normal, rather than like -like. (laughs) inferno-like. No doubt, it's going to get hot in there. (laughs) You hope. (laughs) But now, even if you have a fan, you know, which I can imagine maybe you do have a fan, my particular favorite one, it's the tall kind, and they rotate back and forth, and and it's got a remote control. I could be laying in bed and just grab the remote and turn that puppy on and off and change the amount of fan that comes out, whether it's medium, high, low. Usually there's four choices of, you know, do you want it super low, low, medium, or high? Because like maybe, you know, when she goes to the restroom or something, man, put that fan on you and on high and really cool yourself down. Seriously, it's great to have that kind of a fan in your room. You can pick them up on like amazon.com for like, I don't know, 40, 60 bucks. So worth it. And again, get the one with a remote. And they're the tall kind, slender, kind of like cylinder-like, you know, kind of like a little, tiny little sky rise building. <laughs> they're kind of cool. Anyhow, that is really good to have when it gets hot in your room. Huh. And always, it goes without saying, you just want to invite your gal into a little quick shower action. You know, maybe you guys have been romping and rolling and you're kind of sweating like a, a greasy pig. Well... It's time for you to quick take, well, you need a quick shower and invite her. Honey, I'm going to go take a quick shower. You want to come with? Come on, let's go. Huh. And then take care of each other. Prep each other for a good night's sleep. You know, soap each other up. You don't have to be in there for very long. Towel off. Walk her over to her side of the bed. Help her climb on in. And then you jump over her into bed. <laughs> Whatever, you know, just climb on in. And then the both of you should be able to fall right asleep in each other's arms almost instantly. Almost instantly. But you'll be fresh and clean. And that's really nice. And seriously, ask women. You know, do you like it when a man sweats like a monster and then sleeps right next to you? Uh, no. So I guess maybe I'm just telling you guys, be mindful of this. Stay clean. Get a fan for the room. Take a shower after you've romped and rolled for hours. You know, just, just, it's just good advice. Just go do it. Okay, good. All right. Sweet dreams. (laughs) You, the man, just got home from dinner. (laughs) All right. Here's something else. You, the man, you just got home from having dinner out and about at some restaurant with your gal. You get home. You want to go have sex. When you've got to go, number one. Or more importantly, number two. Yeah. What do you do? You go. Yeah, I know. It's not rocket science. But here's the thing. Don't hold Mother Nature's feelings in for very long. Your body will thank you in the long run that night if you obey those signals early on and take care of those things. Worried about the noise or, you know, the smell or whatever? Let me tell you something. No problem. Just turn up the radio. Turn on that faucet. Light that match. Light a candle. Use some of her or your hairspray, deodorant, or flush while you go. Yes. This is a very sensitive subject, and even I feel a little embarrassed talking about it, but the truth is, some people, some guys, you know, they just, they don't know what to do, or they don't know to pay attention to this kind of stuff. And I know a lot of ladies listening to this right now are saying, hey, Bart, thanks a lot for sharing these tips, 
sharing this concern? Because yes, we are concerned when our men come home with us and they just, I mean, who knows what's going on. So guys, you've been given enough advice on this subject. Just be mindful. Oh, one more tip. If you dare to go there, performing some uh, backdoor little A action on your honey, be conscientious of the fact that she too just had a meal with you. And everyone's systems initiate their own exit plans at different times. Yeah. So if you know what you're going to be doing, and, uh, and you know what I mean, you might want to go slow and be sure that she's not needing to tend to Mother Nature either. El numero doso. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Just be wise. Use caution. Be observant. And if y'all both come home from being out and then you both use the restroom, which is normal, take a shower, soap up, clean your bodies. You know what I'm saying? It's just great for you guys to be clean from all of that being out and, you know, just, just being out in general with mingling with other people and sweating and all that other socialization with other human beings. You know, who knows what kind of dirt and germs they got going on. So you come home immediately honey come we're gonna take a shower real quick yeah get clean huh. sexual etiquette never pressure her into doing something that she doesn't want to do or have done to her also you should be asking her what she wants anyway hey would you like this to be done can i do this may i please oh please can i i just want to take this finger and okay guys sometimes we have to offer to take the wet spot once in a while. Yeah. Or offer a towel to cover it up so we can lie next to our honey without her always having to lie in the pond that was created by all those wet juices coming out. Mm -hmm. It's the gentlemanly gesture of care and courtesy. Do you know what I mean? Turn the sheet over. Move the both of you over to another side of the bed. Get a bigger bed. <laughs> Actually, I was once in a full-size bed, which was quite comfortable, but then I was in a king-size bed, and I went back and forth, and it's amazing how much room is available in that king-size bed. It is just truly amazing. It's cool. Uh, so just look out for her and care for her in this way. Offer to kind of, you know, share that wet spot with her or do something about it, but don't make her lie in it. That's just not cool. Never have sex with a woman if you're about to break up with her. No, the timing is not good. If you're going to break up with a woman, stop having sex with her way before the breakup. It's not right, and it goes against the laws of the bedroom. Satisfy your sweetie, even if you don't feel like it. You know, maybe the time's good for her, but it's not good for you. If she's hungry, horny, feed her. When you're hungry and horny later, and she isn't, she'll remember your good favor and hopefully feed you in return. Does your honey gal have a piercing down below? Just because a woman has a piercing doesn't mean you have to suck it all in and pull it with your teeth and ouch, that can hurt. Ask her how you might play with it to bring her joy just so that, you know, when you see it for the first time, you're like, okay, uh, what do I do with this? You know, I don't want to hurt you. Sex as therapy, sex has therapeutic benefits. No way. Yes way. Sex lowers blood pressure levels. Sex relaxes you. Sex takes your mind off the world problems and takes you to a world of fantasy and relaxation. Sex keeps you physically Sex keeps you physically healthy. Hey, it's a workout. Sex makes you stronger. Again, all that physical exercise. Guys, have you noticed when you're on top of her and you're thrusting and pumping and friction and injection action, you know, you do a lot of that. Pay attention to your abs. Like later that day or how much sex are you having? A lot of sex. Pay attention to your abs. You're getting a good ab workout. Yeah. Sex can also relieve pain as it releases endorphins into the system, helping to soothe most of almost any kind of pain. Sex helps your skin look healthy glowing and alive with all that blood flowing around and you know, no wonder and talk about the perfect anti-aging medicine sex does it all studies show that those 
who look younger as they grow older have had a healthy sex life. Go figure. Mm. Respect the woman you love. You never want to put her down. You always want to hold her up. You never want to make her feel unwanted, unattractive. You always want to make her feel desirable, sought after, attractive, and beautiful. Timing. Every time you have sex, before, during, after, keep these things in mind. It'll pay off in ways that will help you both from here to eternity. Mm.